subscription for all the support she's given us all over the years. Thank you. Now, I know you're only out two uh, months after 10 years in jail, but uh, do you see much change in thinking in, in Belfast, Republican circles? I think signs are good that um, people have become less entrenched in positions and more, I think it's a, a very, very progressive outlook people have. We may glass the three noidum or vac lane in the shock of the Yogas and Cara Bavu Vigamanson, no Colleen as Bala Anderson. I guess we should show more limited far, a course in the Bahia. So Kula may have him, Hig may grab she breeze on. I guess in son enough to shave for me commission, yaur, eel chew, air, stight in the breeze on, stight in the man, the freeze on, or hoig. Queenie's lawyer, I guess, on air marine far, Vishy Dirk Skilt is there. Vishy Lantosta, Lartlum, I guess, come a Blin Gulla, a Turkotar and Dig, because the Koran area, Kor Aglavari, a Kor An An area, but the Mifiara Octo Hot. I guess been a Norian and a Kakonic May, Mar and Son, couple Chachnan Yuxon, a Harley Gibraltar. Last Sunday's gunning down of three unarmed suspects on the Rock of Gibraltar. Another bloody incident in Britain's anti-terrorist war, followed by an extraordinary saga of misinformation. Mairead Farrell, Danny McCann and Sean Savage were highly skilled activists. The government have issued a statement just reiterating our concern that three unarmed Irish people were uh, shot dead in circumstances which would seem to indicate uh, that they could have been arrested. We all know they were dedicated mass murderers who were ruthlessly involved in a bombing operation. Well, Marie Farrell, a controversial figure in that she was a female IRA volunteer, probably the single most high profile such person of the, an identifiable person of the long war. Mm. And as such, that and the, I suppose, the extremity of what occurred in Gibraltar has given herself and that incident a, a long, a long notoriety. Your path is either jail or death. <laughs> People are under no illusions when, when they are involved in the Republican movement, that these are the two options. That's one of the tragedies. You know the famous quotation that to the people of West Belfast she was seen as a uh, patriot, to the British she was seen as a terrorist, and to her family, friends, she was seen as another victim of Irish history. Mission Sugar Bell first uh, stuck in Nadia Shakto Kuig than Gaydor. I was Kermayana and Son, I suppose, Erin Bubble. Um, I guess Erin River Shul and Sagas. I got a slog shed the hula. I mean, it's done Garo or Kuik or Lee or Lee or Lee or Galore Schlitter. Erin River Tarlon and Sarg or Gokpev. I guess it's on Son of Kula May Annam Vrea than Gaydor. A shop ban their co ish Lumphanig. We were in our can of Ban Rielta or Skull, or a bus leads from Dom Maher, a Kuigo Huig, bus, or Vaca de Maher, a Kuig Session Oyas. I was in San Nadio, Shakto Shay, Shakto Shacht, Maradorf, Mishes and Oskoy, and Latlia, Agus Vishesha, Ibrus and Arvaca. I was the Kurshe Queen, the Mekanahe, Kanahe, Kadahuk and Sunny, Kadahuk and Sunmisha, Agus Asylum and Fragger and all, then quit us move. On top of your warmer on, so I'm in so fucking vitamins. We learn clear vitamins. Three and eight, sure, Emma. You know, breher and dinner, breher and man, oaks on the veilon the bag. A veilon diary of a ve took a dust number of a hook so a sail of your rag, sail the nella hog and flesh. A vaha lesh number of your crutch you onto. So I'm in so her more kinda, ah. You know, Dort L.P. Hartley in North Scala, the past is another country. Uh, they do things differently there. Toshe Shin, 
tá sé sin fíor, tá sé le feisc an so. My own family had a Republican background, but uh, living on the Falls Road, I saw internment, I saw the British soldiers. That in itself, you know, you became aware, right? You know, I have to do something here, you know? The, this just isn't right, and you, you find yourself, you want to become more and more involved. I just got a political education from looking around. So shut Cartler Vohan of all. Um so he didn't stride in a uh in our togok married farrell, you know, we shop a bug egg a hatter. He sent shots a pound loney. It's own gallant or so about a hatter. Uh, so when she left and got her old gookers, I know I passed going to lead from a damn water. I could send saw her over in a wall, a varshi and kid, with a shabby and a shock me in the uh, the hoiga. Got Sarah and Orvi Murray dog, dog at Winter Farrell, a dig, a male fresher. It's here they shall end the seer of a county litrum. It's Queen Le Sean O'Sullivan, Murray Farrell attack a bell on a war, I guess the og. Gosuns <laughs> Uh, This girl, and uh, she was she was in Armagh. She was in the jail. I said, "Like, what was it really like? Was it really that bad?" She was saying, "Look, it's bad, and but everybody, you know, helps each other and just comradeship." And all that. And I says, "Yeah," but it, you know, that all was stuck in my mind. I was not about that. You know, school or half of the former Limerick, more hider than now. I know the Mariaki. Quite <laughs> Cah Brian Feeney a oiga i mel fresta coma. Is hanga mar suas le na chéile le lart fe cad bochain le shud fe na leith an son. Because I was a bit older, yeah. I already had sort of formed political ideas and knew what I thought about things mm. and, and could see political process uh, and development and success. People who were twenty twenty two in the early seventies would have supported the civil rights movement, the SDLP, and many would have thought they had achieved success by 73, because you had the housing executive, which ended up discrimination. City councils had been changed. Derry City Council was uh, abolished. A commission was set up. Um, there was the proposals for the power sharing executive. It looked as if it was a political success. If you were younger and working class, you didn't see any of that. Um, you were being stopped and searched by the army all the time. And the role of the army was disastrous, really, from the point of view of British policy. The behaviour of soldiers after 71 was just outrageous. And they acted as recruiting sergeants. So people were understanding about what was going on. But they were very careful about whether or not their children would be swept in. 
So it wasn't a case of saying that they were morally superior to people who joined the IRA. They just thought the risk was so serious. It was generally expected that you had a life expectancy of six months. For someone with her middle class background, right. it's unusual to be involved. Okay. And I suspect it was something to do with the connections the family had in the Lower Falls. You know, if you know, if you know, if you know, if you know, you know, can I have got her to see him for the other? Because the Cooper would, Cooper actor, go more for, a yin an an impressionary. Because the heck she shear her son a gunny. An kid would know anyway, Bombay Street, an unsi a yin the deal shorty, er fried in the temple clanner because it's there for her of all. Because her noy and er reached. Like a Milan, er, and be special to Hanukkah's Jack in the car in the Mura. I go see a school in or machine guns. I go see Kurok, Sroid, and Umlana, Trihina. Rudella, a wee better, a yin better impression, a nice mower, hey, no, took a the fall through curfew, or so. Rudha Harlan or Koig or the Bratana Stach Conroher Yenev Erhe in the Uchter Naval, the entire Genevach Sagunter, Agus Dinok Roher Erin Gunter, Ernest Ride Nabilga, Agus Drager and Ire. We'll be doing a squealer Kale being a side dirty, Agus and Ire squealer Kale, Agus Kurach and Counter Fad Fe Curfew, Mariach. Gallordina, squeal of Gallordina, coigna side or the stack is a scrisser in a teha bioga shop. No ruddy saw Tashi, there knows of a nish early in a size in a in a cliche shanahata. A coder son called more son vim erhuina auger, a viang, a agus a conic yield erandela fisha gospel, mother down of fella, a mother lesson lesson gurfu shin, a vishi loher. Vog Gallordina, O Echter Naval, Gus of Ornaval, Suascobala Anderson. Suascadina has died new, a the talk her egg and Udras, like a housing executive. Sinshaha Honig, Red Farl Conconi, Nediok Shakto, Stasha Simulmers Queenland. Mrs. Farrell, a radam, or Vogadar and so no con elu was the tribloide, you know, a carnoi. Near ever nice or say us the tribloide. August have here and son where Darmelishna, a deha, a quid corda, the arm the bratna gumion minic, a den of sladner and a teha, the the patrol or food and height and so. So near Vainclay Griff Maria, the Griff she gar her mark nigh in rod. Uh, oh, gna gna fubble and so we she in a quid the kegger conic she hain a dig uh, na faca shin good digger gawa ki fain. Ogus quarter mechanicara Jordan Holland of the Arnolskal and Magus of the Anavor Limerade Farrell Coma. If you can cut Buchin Lehi fain draw son, does say. For many of us in that time, it was, it, it was almost um, a double or triple whammy in terms of upheaval because as a child, mm. You were used to your own little two up, two down, mm. your own little streets, communities, mm. very strong family networks, you know, granny round the corner, auntie up the street, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. And then, of course, we were um, redeveloped. And I think sometimes somebody should look at the fact that that sort of big physical destruction of homes and communities almost occurred at the same time mm. as the conflict started off. Um, it was almost like a perfect storm in a way. Did you know Mairead at that stage? I got to know Mairead in and around that time. Yeah. I would say within a year. You know, there were a group of us and we're all very good yeah, friends. friends. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you, unbelievably, you know, in times of conflict, you still do all the silly things that girls do. You know, yeah. Mairead and all of us would have, you know, did all the normal, normal things, things that other people, other kids would do. Um, but the real, to me, the real total transformational event was the introduction of internment in 9th of August 1971 and that just you know that that just caused in my neighborhood a, a complete uprising 
you know, the very concept that anyone could be taken, arrested, tortured, and then kept in prison without charge, without a trial, mm -hmm. without a judge, without a jury. I mean, even to kids my age, that didn't seem fair. The IRA just grew exponentially. Were you surprised when Marie joined the IRA? No, no, not at all, no. No, I wasn't in the least bit surprised. It was very much a natural progression. A lot of women saw no reason why they just couldn't go straight in, and the IRA were glad to take them. Carla Mishan Starry Rowan O'Donnell. Tas San Spesha showed a star in Fablatonikish. Agus Laurium or Marial and Tresha son, the Dushkart and Heron. The Republican movement has always had a provision for bringing young people into Republican culture. And she was one of that small minority who became not simply an activist but a leading member of an IRA active mm. service unit. So she would have gone from an, an ordinary, comparatively comfortable background into the most high-risk environment that could be imagined for someone mm. of our generation. And that is not something an intelligent, thinking person such as herself would have done lightly. And in, moreover, it would not have been tolerated by the public movement. They didn't want Walter Mitty's. They didn't want ineffective mm. people. They would obviously go for the highest calibre activist they could get, and she certainly fulfilled that breed from their perspective. Vi råkar det att se gandala stags när jag är back in the hörla henrik politiker. Då kan det hålla skilda. Tuskat när hörna åker. Tack och blåkli är då gulunden. Jen gulor då inte den gulor känna eller hed. Det att se sällan kav. Så you know I really will die to get a cash. Now can I have gone another son? Can I have gone another sister? Rudy. Ufasaka for Egnaka Yenov, August Grother Sostalesh, a sail fanig, a curum well. A needing shot the shag, Glockmarade, Porta Vachtus Bumala, the Quidden Nire, a down to Lakir and Doherty, a Gashor McDermott. Vishagestico, Puma Alaga in Ostan, Conway Hotel, Teva Mother of Velferste in Dunmurray. You'd be nervous. Naturally, you're nervous. You're going on a big operation, and then now we're getting ready with our masks and all. The adrenaline was gone, and then we had to drive the whole way with the bombs. Kieran and I went in the van with the bombs, and Sean went in the car. But see, we had to. The Conway, you know, all it is, right, you know what you have to do. Get the job done, you know, and get it done properly. Hug Mairead agus Ciarán Dóherty na Búmi a stach, gud ian tóstán, agus nor a fléasíad nir gortí a chéana san achtra ach sgrisachan an tóstán go hilas go hamalá. Nor a gáu a chéan lásan, bí is a gud vétag sé vé mar a vera lá, mar a hárla, sin mar a críachnig Sean McDermott, mar a yag eisen sgúilaca, Agus hig si fénig i cada vian ande. Gu gahag si cuid va da seal an cadela da hoiga i gilin i brizu an ardvaca. Sean's dead totally right because um, up until then I was either fooling myself that it wasn't true, hoping it wasn't true, and then when I finally had some clue that it was, my own capture looks so small. You get that? Like I mean, I was a lucky one. Once in the shock that day, you know, this um, this force of a vacle and a glass of three nojakas, we married Farrell in our vaca. Because beneath the planta, nor a hussig, na hagodi, so free zone. We go shock to share like that's because she'd galer us um, policy, the hood, the hood in the black, she shouldn't allow. No, no, Torfia Hille, Stardus, Politul, Stardus, special to the wheel and IRA, and our Vonta Kirkpig, ni glachig, wheel and IRA. Lena Laid, you'll tell her the hedge block, and if you'll tell her Erdig and Friso in a cave, 
agus mar sin iarraidh a chuid plaid. Mother leis na sástaig le 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 rialtas hasna. Is tú imgur capadh ar son go muhadist an cogha leistig den brízo ilin hours ve. Vrishadist an ayre leistig des na brízo. Thí maraid in a canner anis ar na ban brízo na de chuid ayre in ardvaca. And in Lung or Visekadina Grev Mana, Lesh, Safrizon, Agasid, Eran Agoi Kena. Agus Beda Graben with an all Grev a good edig fain egnamana, so near out or showed her in a plitna. The other son, a coding of all to Kenags of Inafir, a Darlo ni Kurpigil, a Sidori by Darlo Henig, Agus Vither Lorg Stardus, a Politual Stardus Specialta. Republican movement itself, you know, while it treated us as equals in a certain sense that we were in prison and that, at the same time, they didn't feel that, um, or not even them, you know, p- people on the outside in general, society, looked at us as the, the guards in our ma, and we shouldn't really be in there, we should be out here and let the men do it, you know. The men are quite capable of doing it and they don't need women to do it. Women aren't supposed to be politically active. We're supposed to be looked after, taken care of. We even thought in the early days that we were an extension. We were always, um, we're doing this to support the men in the blacks. We're, at the same time, you know, we were on it for political status and we want the political status as much as the men in the blacks. <laughs> Either na mano a vir na goid. We marry joy like a shenad moor. I don't in the marriage snubly on the sa. I breeze on our vaca. Initially, Maria was the OC of the wing, but by that stage, then she became the the jail OC. She was in charge of the whole. Of the whole jail. Yeah. 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 Why? Why? What? I mean, who appointed her? And I think I remember asking her that. But but who appointed her? Well. Was it outside or was she voted in or was it, would it have been? It initially came from inside mm-hmm. because the people there felt confident with her. And I would say from the start, that my, my impression Maria was just she was always a leader. She was al- always struck me as being a leader. And she was always to the fore. No matter what we were doing, she would have been there in the forefront doing it with you. Tonight, John is doing the blanta. Near us, Reven son or Vishen a free zone. A colony menish can lartlish and Aher Raymond and Marie as Kashesh and Blint the father, Marhe Plinak, Egna, Prisonig. Kevid, Kevid Banavian saw. We're strong to row her trucker as Dahid. Hanig me stock and shop, Bajor three carriers, Shachak, and I guess Bajor Nish Milica. Near one, a Gullish Jock in his Nikilini, I guess where he can't slow. Go private talk about Shindy. Ak he and his jock is to show me television. I guess a corner right in the market again close law. Ak the grand near Cormish jock near Cormish case to a cajera and a to a cajera and a machinde. Be in a equivalent to the states of prison like Medu. I guess like Medu real land five and on. I guess in equivalent to the prison I guess Udras. If we canis are are an arch, I guess canis are in the prison. I guess machine day, so we equivalent to going in. I guess on chin harle, rod milchen a kunsha, a shock the lad of fiara, nijig octa. I guess ina gu a togo are in the ocean. Vishen in elina on husen chin le 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 bia a isle. Because we had our own clothes, that was a major thing. We had, any time there was a volunteer killed, we used to have commemoration in the yard. And we would have wore black clothing. And that particular time, it was volunteer Delaney. Yeah. Had been blown up. But well, but had the commemoration as usual, and that was it. Everybody went about their business, and it was actually the next day. Mm-hmm. There was a door that joined our wing to A wing, and that opened, and 
how many? About 30 to 40. Mm -hmm. Male screws, all dressed in red gear. With rushing in. Shields and battens just came rushing in while we were trying to get our dinner totally taken on a word. We didn't know what was happening. So they were there to look for these black clothing. But at the end of the day, it was stuff that had come through the sensors, so it was just an excuse to get in and raiding ourselves. So you were all beaten? We were, we were all manhandled oh, or beaten yeah. in some uh -huh. shape or form, yeah. some more than others. Yeah. And then after that, they just kept us locked up. Maria kept trying to negotiate, kept trying to ask for the governor, the, the head screw, anybody, and they just they wouldn't deal with us totally at all. Ignored us. Just totally ignored us. And I think that initially they left us there for about 24 hours. Yeah. I mean, there was no toilets in the in the cells. All you had was a chamber pot, and most uh, there was two people in the cell. And I mean, it, it can only hold so much. So we started emptying it under the door. Under the door. And they started brushing it back in this. So then you started to put your excrement yeah. on the wall. There was nothing else to do. It's kind of red against them, you know, in the Kanilka, you know, it's um nor either Erin Erin Agoid or cause um you know, because you look at their us. It's quite an inlick ni van son of um you'll do in a las na 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 ni van a presume they got na hithika, you know, either shinis dig and so Banavoin is queen um Gurmariki Teva Modan uh Mangata. It was queen mission or course trash was very at the media glartla the couple didn't the sne the hithikic prison and sagas then she other them scale fe fe vanella or school like near mariaki don't she shin lam you know me ni have on grev gormig maria the marker goes go for shisha boss of the around the vela ve and vanella sha mara was the hithikic prison and sag kai garok she shall re nor the etho the Martian, a Kurdistach, and Eitmar Shaw, Gan Rodeg and Gan Rianeg and the Vefaka on Earth. In the Blantishin, we Danny Morrison, Evil Kursi Publirta, the Hinfein. August Rolchen, Hugokshe, Kurt Rilta, Ernaban, Frizonig, Agus Gomorvor, Ervered, Isha, Ernoi, Canara, and Frizonig Aganau. The visits to Armagh Jail were quite grueling. Uh, you had, I don't know, maybe up to 20, 25 women on this new voice protest. It was particularly more difficult for women because of the personal hygiene end of things. And, uh, you know, Maria would have come out and she was smelt, her hair would have been greasy, mm -hmm. her face would have been, you know, really pale because they weren't allowed exercise, uh, they weren't allowed anything, weren't allowed letters, they had restricted visits, weren't allowed food parcels, weren't allowed radios, weren't allowed newspapers, weren't, weren't allowed pen and paper. And every, mm -hmm. so everything had to be, everything that they used to correspond with us on the outside had to be secreted inside their own body cavities, uh, when, especially when they, they were subject to searches. And there's that famous photograph, you know, it's, it's even done in one of the murals, I think, of her standing behind her, her yeah, bed. We in smuggled the in, yeah, we smuggled in uh, a, a, a little camera and uh, those photographs were taken. They were very uh, emotive uh, because there was this very, very thin, gaunt woman. During the summer time of, of 1980, there was talk, well, what's going to happen next? So a hunger strike was mentioned. I mean, initially, uh, the, the movement didn't want the hunger strike. And then the men didn't want the women on it. We discussed it among ourselves, you know. And obviously it was something that you didn't take lightly. You know, you had to, to go away and sit and, and consider everything and the men started on the 27th of October, the seven men, and then it was decided that us three, Marie, Margaret Nugent and myself would um, go on it on the 1st of December. I remember Marie coming over and I was in a double cell and she came over to talk, we were through the spy and I was talking to her and my, my memory is it was just teeth, it was just teeth. There was, her mouth was completely drawn back. She was completely, there was nothing there, and she was just skin and bones. And I remember going, she'll not last another week. 
There's something, I suppose, in the traditional psyche that resiles at the concept of a woman being held in dire circumstances, in, in, uh, under enormous physical threat, on, under huge psychological stress. These things resonate in our society, whether we like it or not. And certainly the, um, the potency of that propaganda had um, a genuine international reach. Mm -hmm. And Farrell was, as you well know, at the centre of it, um, formally, personally and structurally. And as such, she became a very credible figurehead for that particular aspect of the, of the long war. And the Northern Ireland office in the last hour has issued a terse one-line statement. Mr. Robert Sands, a prisoner in the Mays prison, died today at 1.17. He took his own life by refusing food and medical intervention for 66 days. You know, it was so hard to take in that all these men were dying and you know, nothing, nothing was happening. Still and all, the Brits were standing there firm. Everybody wanted the hunger strike over and everybody wanted the men to live. Nobody wanted them to die. 1981 is the turning point in the whole troubles. Before that, the Republican movement didn't know if they had any support. They were constantly being accused of um, having nothing but violence to offer. And, you know, why don't you stand for an election and prove what the situation is? When it came to 1981 and Sands got elected, 30,000 votes um, in Fermanagh South Tyrone, the Republican movement knew they had support, at least in emotional cases like this. When Sands was dead, there was another by-election, obviously, and, and Sinn Féin won that by-election. So they stood in every election from 1981 and it's the beginning of the Armalite, Armalite and the ballot box strategy. And Mairead Farr was very much in support of that. She was released in 86, went to the Ordesh in Dublin, but of course she also went back to the IRA. 1986 was a year of enormous ideological transition within the Republican movement. It's a year in which the long-held and often bitterly contested issue of abstentionism was changed at the Ardesh. So the decision for Sinn Féin to take part in elections with a view to taking seats was momentous. And for that, they simply had to become more accessible to the general public. They had to put their message to people who otherwise could not be relied upon to simply vote out of some form of tribal allegiance or historical activism. They had to express their politics. And people like Mairead Farrell were strongly positioned to do that effectively. Like it's taken a long time to get where we are, but I mean, as I was saying earlier, 16 years of struggle has been going on. This is the longest struggle ever in Ireland, and I don't think it will ever be defeated because the determination is there, and that the 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 youth have, you know, are really into it, and political theories have developed. You know, it's no more just that's what happened in such and such a year. You know, we're not going by that. We've developed our own political theories and with our own ideology, and we seem to know we know where we're going. And, exactly what we're doing and I think we get there. She was an incredibly strong woman with wall-to-wall -wall credibility within Republican circles. My own view was I, I thought Maria had started Queen's University. Yeah. She was doing her university course and um, she was giving a lot of interviews. So, I mean, to me, I thought Maria's activities were... In, yeah. Strictly in the political area, yeah. yeah. Maria had her own ideas about what her role would be. And I think that, you know, because it was still years away from the first ceasefire, uh, Maria still saw her role as being, I think, a military one. 
I'm <laughs> the changing of the guard because um reached the rare dar uh glock a glash corbation sprook an ira and so hunter brought her farrell would have been what is sometimes been referred to as a red light and a known activist who would be very heavily surveilled by the British and other foreign intelligence agencies. And as such, the decision to use her, whilst I couldn't possibly explain it, um, mm. the reasons for this are shrouded in the mystery and the secrecy of the public movement, um, it, I can only assume that she was chosen on the basis of her reliability and on the mm. assumption that the security countermeasure that they had taken would be sufficient to enable that particular operation to come to fruition. Well, in that particular operation, it's hard to, to know what they were thinking, except that it was going to be a spectacular, um, and it would have been in line with the IRA policy that British forces are not safe anywhere in the world, that this can happen. And so there were attacks in Germany, there were attacks in the Netherlands, um, and there was a squad operating in mainland Europe which actually carried out a number of shootings. It was a series of ideas about a publicity coup about damaging the British Army, about making it more difficult for the British to operate. You know, there's so much logistics involved. There would have been a lot of planning in Belfast. Now, Belfast was absolutely riddled with informers. And by the time you get to 1987 or 88, um, there's hardly an operation in Belfast was getting through because there were so many people uh, in the pay of Special Branch or MI5. The Jeffrey Howe and Ara Sheentruck, a realist in the Ratnig and all. Who could score to her for her and Kadbuchinesh, in Gibraltar? We'd known for a long time they were on the Spanish frontier. We'd known they were going to Gibraltar. We were known they were in Gibraltar. The decisions from moment to moment and day to day wouldn't all have been taken at the highest level, depending on the nature of the problem, mm. but exactly as you'd expect. Yes. And would you assume, though, for example, that if the SAS were sent in to something like that, that they would not take prisoners? That I mean, the SAS were a uh, cutting-edge military force. No, they wouldn't have a priority of killing rather than taking prisoners. But in any situation of that kind, you don't know whether you're likely to be shot before you shoot. You don't know whether you'll be able to get close enough to take prisoners. Every decision has to be taken by close judgment in the nature of the occasion. And, and a, a judgment of that kind may require a decision by the commanding officer on the spot. These people would have been shot at quite close range. And of course, it was quite contentious then at the time that they were shot while unarmed. Do you have any feeling about that? or? No, they, 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 they were dealing with people who were, were there with the intention of committing terror. And one had to take the decision 
should we take action against them before they take action against us? Ruli start the Hushkar Dairn about Town King again now. Is Kumik and Kaintilesh, Moriaul Air Strathesh, are on the Bracknam, Ile and I arrange a broader and loss. The soldiers would have had a briefing mm. that there was a bomb threat. And the plan was to let off a bomb at the changing of the guard the band, with the band and everything else on parade. And, and you've got to stop it. Uh, I mean, that, you know, they, 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 we've got to make sure it doesn't happen. I mean, I mean the, the, the bomb threat. But I, I do quite understand the nervousness, the responsibility that were on those soldiers, because they would be briefed that they understood there was likely to be a major terrorist attack, and nobody knew where the explosive were. And I should think there was real panic. Either among the SAS or the most highly trained. That's what trained. I mean. Yeah. I mean, you know, the people that they panicked. People, I, I don't know. No, not that. The, the whole organisation, you know, is there actually a bomb here? You know, where is it? Because we don't know where it is. The rear lag in the side door, the Bert high door, all anoint. We are con frogra hurt near Yin Mar Gorian Dan McCann. Can you hear the egg and alive? Where you and Maria were the egg and the mola? I guess we're still there yet. Maria Sean Savage, they're a couple of kids left to us to bore. Former lag and elder fad, us in the finehe, a conic, an actor. Stephen Bullock, a big horse and son, and a Van Kela, I guess Yanov, so so framige. I was Cameron Poeta, the affair and the on a horror sign, horse and son. I looked out of the window because all of a sudden I had a siren, a police siren, mm. and I saw a car going up uh, Smith Dorian and turning up at the roundabout at Victoria Station and coming back down. And then I saw that they stopped abruptly and there were three men coming out. Two, one stayed in the car, two jumped over the uh, intersection barrier, and um, I saw this couple walking, but all of a sudden I see that this men jump with a gun in hand, pointed at them, and start shooting at them. This is a young couple, as far as I could see. It was a young woman and a man. It was frightening, because she fell before, she was falling down, and he was trying to help her, and all of a sudden he dropped to because the blood started coming, burting out of his chest. I, I didn't know what to say. The fact that three people had been shot dead when they could have simply have been arrested just was lost, you know, lost sight of completely. You know, that was, as far as I was concerned, the most important aspect of this. These people should have been arrested. And that's what they said they were, that's what the soldiers said at the inquest. Our instructions were to arrest these people. Um, but, they've, but they've all admitted that they, they, they really gave no challenge before they opened fire. And you heard no challenge, Stephen? No, well, I, I'd say I, anything. I, I, could, I, I was too far away. But um, you see, the point is, McCann, the man I saw being shot, um, I, when I gave a statement to the police, I said it looked to me like the shooter was standing about four feet away from him. And obviously, in that clip, that clip, he could just grab him and said, right, you're next, right? Mm. Um, but in fact, at the inquest, the pathology reports showed that there were actually um, burn, oh. burns around the entry wounds. So it was actually within the muzzle flash of the gun, so presumably within, like, you know, a foot or less, you know. So if you're that close... <clears> that, so, I mean, should... if you can get that close, there's no reason why you can't just grab them and, and arrest them. Then came the political bombshell. A remote controlled examination of the car revealed that it contained no bomb at all. They carried no weapons or bomb detonators as had been thought, but a car found later in an underground car park in Marbella contained a Semtex bomb and had been rented by Maraid Farrell using a false name. Looking back, do you think that perhaps it would have been wiser to 
try to, to arrest them, to try to arrest them, to go for a less military response to what they were doing? I think it's ridiculous, either then or now, to be having backward-looking questions of that kind. The decisions were taken in light of what was known, suspected and feared at the time, and there was no reason not to ever to question their legitimacy and wisdom. You simply can't have the luxury of saying, well, let's see what's going to happen. The Joe Austin in a Ithaca Sheen Shrug, the Sinn Féin, August Beshin, a Hashtil, the Gibraltar, Lindrahar, Bread, Con Quirp, Nadrora, Hortavala. What happened was that the major or, or airlines refused to carry the cargo, which was the remains. So we then had to charter our own flight. So it was a kind of a, you know, it was a, a, a 10 day nightmare from the deaths to the, to the burials. Eventually, we were able to hire a, a turbo. All the seats were removed. So I returned home on the, in this turbo uh, with the three remains and one seat. We flew into Dublin. Of course, there were thousands of people there and people wanted to pay their respect. And then from Dublin, we traveled right through. We were met then at the border by the, the NRUC. Michael <laughs> I mean, direct lash throw of our Bert Lads, Oga, O Yachton of August Farrow Gellas Bal Anderson. I guess Shurud Nar Harder we've had a great far, the Gunna, I guess Boma, I guess Aidan of Unsi, Marafuk, Erlock Socrator, and Tachtenshin, and the enemy there who could do it, you know, we just fish a cold dove. Agus and the Himachta Yahar Ladar Air, three Lad Argun, the Kurshesh and Lesh, and Eadokas. Three days later, at the funeral of one of those killed in the cemetery, two army corporals who drove into the path of the funeral cortege were pulled from their car and shot dead by the IRA. I was just going to make a name. I was going to go to the house. 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 I was going I am a man who is 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 a man Coval and Earinga and son. Um, Tafiriki on a coval and Agus or no, Brahan and Earinga and son. Er Kadasa will not Gomara be the niche in, in, um, in atmosphere, Ta Nis Oskilta, Govetamish Fech and Shear Erina, Agus Beder Nargaudoin. 
either gamma nu asame the yin shit, be the govetamish, either korago hex no stara. Um, Tasulgum, uh, Gulcheshin fear, a ministerium, um, Monday big immediation. You know, if we, if we don't understand history, we're doomed to repeat it. Um, Akarishna, the Gunnam of Red Farrell, Nilain, Nilain Ragra, Shimpli, or a guest, Kadahug, Kunaboshe. Just tragoid, tragoid, Nastara, eh, early. I want to thank you all for the overwhelming support on the Trouble Land. Please do like and subscribe as it helps us to grow the channels and spread awareness on this terrible conflict. If you haven't already, make sure to check out our second channel, which deviates from mainstream documentaries and delves deeper into personal stories that have arisen from the conflict. Many thanks to all our Patreon members. If you haven't already, please do join for free. The link's in the description.